Hi there, I'm Olivia and I'm with Thrive Counseling Center. If you know me, then you know that I love to read books. So today I'm going to read the book, Sorry I Forgot to Ask by Julia Cook. And this is a good book for all the kiddos that are having a little bit of trouble with social skills, um, asking for permission, and also forgetting to say that they are sorry. So I hope you enjoy it. Friday after school, my best friend Sam and I decided we did not want to ride the bus, so we walked home instead. On the way home, we had a rock throwing contest in the field. We took our shoes off and went wading in the frog pond, but we didn't catch any frogs. Then we stopped at the corner store and bought slushies. I got bubblegum blueberry and Sam got grape. When I walked into the house, my mom looked worried. She smiled and ran over and gave me a big, great hug. But as soon as she saw the slushy marks on my face, her smile turned to a mad frown. Where have you been? I was so worried about you, she said. Well, Sam and I decided that we didn't want to ride the bus, so you walked alone? Yes, and on the way home, we had a rock throwing con, RJ, you just cannot decide that you do not want to take the bus. You have to ask for permission. We just spent the last two hours looking for you. Sam's mom and dad were worried. Your teacher was worried. The bus driver was worried. And your dad and I worried sick. But why are you so mad? All we did was walk home. RJ, I'm upset because you didn't ask for permission and we didn't know where you were. Sorry, I forgot to ask. Sometimes saying sorry just isn't enough, she said. Then I got sent to the timeout corner. On Saturday morning, Sam was over at my house and we were playing video games. We needed to get a code off the internet to win the game. My parents always make me ask for permission before I get on the internet. But my dad was outside washing the car and my mom was on the phone talking to my Aunt Sylvia. Just get on real quick and look it up, Sam said. When we went into dad's office and logged on the computer, just as my mom got off the phone. RJ, she said, you know you have to ask for permission before you go on the internet. Well, we were just looking up a game code. It's not that big of a deal. The deal is that you know the rule and you broke the rule. Sam, please go home. RJ, I know, I know. Go to the chair for another timeout. That afternoon, when my little sister and I got back from our piano lessons, we walked into the house. It smelled like a cup of hot chocolate. My mom had made her an ultimate fabulous triple layer double chocolate cake with whipped cream frosting. And there it was sitting right on the counter. Next to the cake was a note. Dear RJ and Blanche, I'm picking up grandma. I'll be home in 10 minutes. Your snack is on the table. Love mom. I looked over on the table. Apples, string cheese, and graham cake. I don't want to eat this stuff, said Blanche. I want cake. Me too. Should we wait and ask mom? Well, if we just eat a teeny tiny piece, she probably won't even notice. We both ate teeny tiny pieces. It tasted so good. Then we each had another tiny piece and another and another. And then in walked my mom and my grandma. At first, my mom smiled, but when she saw us eating the cake, then she got tears in her eyes and her face turned really sad. RJ, Blanche, she said, you ate the cake. Yes, and it was so good, I said. That was grandma's special birthday cake. I told you we should have asked, RJ, Blanche said. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Blanche, RJ, 
go to your chairs, you are both in timeout. So I sat in my chair waiting for my third time out of the weekend to end. About 16 years later, my dad came over to talk to me. RJ, you're really struggling lately with asking for permission. You walked home from school without asking, you got on the internet without asking, and you helped yourself to grandma's special birthday cake without asking and spoiled mom's birthday surprise. You need to do a much better job of asking for permission. When you ask for permission, you should look right at the person when you're ready to ask. Use a calm, pleasant voice and don't talk too fast. Ask, may I please, and then do your best to stay calm if the answer is no or if it's yes. Yeah, but when I remember to ask, the answer is usually no, RJ. Just keep asking for permission. The better you are at accepting no the right way, the more likely we'll say yes the next time. I felt really bad about eating my grandma's birthday cake, but I didn't know what to say to her. Mom went to the store and bought another chocolate cake for the party, but it just wasn't the same. On Monday when I got back to school, Sam and I got sent to the principal's office. RJ and Sam, he said, you both had everybody really worried on Friday. You can't decide on your own that you don't want to ride the bus. You have to ask for permission. Now, you need to apologize and just saying this word sorry is not enough. What do I say, I asked. To say you're sorry, you should look at the person you've got nothing to fear, say I'm sorry or apologize for, you must be sincere. Explain your new plan and to be the best you can be, then finish off by saying thanks for listening to me. My principal had me and Sam both practice apologizing the right way. I think we had to do it like a hundred times. Then we had to tell our teacher and the bus driver that we were sorry and we wouldn't walk home again without asking for permission. After making that many apologies, I was getting pretty good at it. When I got home from school, I asked my mom to take me over to grandma's house so I could apologize the right way for eating her cake. I realized that asking for forgiveness is a lot harder than just asking for permission in the first place. My grandma loved the apology and she gave me a great big hug. The next Saturday, grandma and I made the ultimate fabulous triple layer double chocolate cake with whipped cream frosting and we gave it to my mom. I hope you enjoyed the book. Enjoy your day.